12 News is your local election headquarters tracking the evolving campaign landscape in Rhode Island before voters go to the polls this fall. We are joined live at 4 by 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nacy with a closer look at how Republicans are feeling this year. So Ted, you and Tim White hosted two GOP leaders this weekend on Newsmakers. That's right, Brian. We had on uh, Rhode Island Republican Party Chair Sue Sienke and the party's new executive director, Jesus Solorio. They're both bullish about GOP chances in Rhode Island in 2022, despite Democrats' dominance in the state. Solorio cited it as the reason he just moved here from Illinois to take the top job at the party. It's because I saw that there's a, a huge opportunity here in Rhode Island this cycle. I mean, you have the statewide legislative seats. So we're seeing an enormous amount of enthusiasm, particularly in the school board races um, and then in the General Assembly. And Ted, of course, there are always a lot of races on the ballot this year in Rhode Island, but a few of them have actually emerged as top potential opportunities for Republicans. Yeah, that's right, Kim. And the top one of those, I'd say, would be the second congressional district. That's Jim Langevin's current seat, where his retirement and President Biden's struggles have the GOP hoping to take the seat from Democrats. Another, the race for governor. A businesswoman named Ashley Kalis, who recently moved to Rhode Island, is expected to announce for the job. Solorio actually said he knows her from when they were both in politics in Illinois. And then, as Sienke said, there are local offices like school committee, where some Republicans think they can capitalize on frustration following the pandemic. Ted, while I have you with us, switching gears, our colleague Steph Machado just this afternoon releasing a new episode of her WPRI.com show, Pulse of Providence. She's talking with a member of the city school board who isn't unhappy with the state takeover of the school. Yeah, Brian, the latest episode of Pulse has Tyrell Stevens, who joined the school board last year at the age of just 19, not long after his own graduation from the Providence Public Schools. And he was critical of how much information is being shared with the school board since the state took over in 2019. He wants more oversight. So the approach that I'm taking to make sure that there's transparency to, to talk about that, but also to state like saying, hey, the board needs to be more involved and have more oversight on a lot of these different things. That's kind of the approach that I'm taking. So I think that when you say like uh, the type you're of trying to, You're trying to shake things up. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> And Steph will have more from that interview coming up at 5. And the full episode of Pulse of Providence is available right now on WPRI.com or wherever you get your podcasts. All right. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi, thanks so much for being here. Good to be here.